So in the previous video, we explored some of our data set using visualization libraries. So we've seen that smoking plays a big, big part in exactly how expensive our insurance charges are gonna be. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and work with IBM Cloud, and we're going to upload our data set into Watson Studio. That's where we're gonna analyze our data and then we're gonna run a machine learning algorithm on our data to produce a model. So after we create our Watson Studio instance, we're gonna upload our data and then we're gonna run an auto AI experiment. That auto AI experiment is gonna do all the heavy lifting. We're gonna configure it and we're gonna tell it what algorithms to run and then we're gonna produce these pipelines based on an algorithm and see how it had performed versus our metric. So our metric is gonna be the least amount of error. And after that, we're gonna deploy one of these machine learning models to use in the next video. So to get started, you're gonna need an IBM Cloud account and everything we do in this video is completely free and it's using all free services, no credit card needed. So to get a Cloud account, just click the link in the description below and you'll get one there. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. If you don't have a cloud account, you can click on the description to get one. Um, so we'll go ahead and log in. Um, so most people already have their services set up, so I'm gonna speed through this real quick. Free resource, and we'll watch the studio service. Um, and then it's free, so just um, wanna click like plan, click on create. So now let's go ahead and click on get started. We, so we can click on new project here. So we can do a YouTube demo, and you can see the cloud object storage. I've already created one, um, but if you didn't, you would just click on create here. It would, it would pop up, say, uh, create object storage. You'd create a light tier, and then it would click on refresh, and then you would see your new object storage that you created up pop up here. So if you got lost somewhere in creating the cloud object storage, there's detailed instructions, the GitHub on step four. So you can find those here. So I'll show you where that is. Um, but yeah, so right here, you'll have uh, more detailed instructions on creating this cloud object storage instance, and you'll have a little video here too. Um, next, uh, add to project. We'll wanna actually create and add our data. And I'll speed this up too. So I've just opened up that file from Kaggle. We're creating the data asset. And now we're gonna go ahead and add to project um, a auto AI experiment. So this is gonna ask for a machine learning instance. Um, and we see we've already created a machine learning instance, but same as you created your Watson Studio instance, you just uh, search for machine learning instead. Click on reload. Um, and, and for some reason it's not finding mine, so we'll click associate. So we found our existing service here um, and we can click reload. We should see it here and we can say again, YouTube demo. Um, so for the data source, we wanna select our insurance file that we've actually selected earlier. And this is important, what do you wanna predict? So within machine learning, um, especially with supervised learning, we have this label that we're trying to predict. So our data set is labeled and especially for that expenses or the charges, what we wanna predict, that's kind of the column we're going for. So within supervised learning, there is a correct answer and we've labeled for that and that is for the insurance expenses. So other things that is really cool about auto AI um, is you can go to the experiment settings and you can click your prediction, you can do regression, multi-class classification, um, and then this is the metric that you wanna optimize for. So you can do R squared, um, there's this one, the difference between values predicted by the model, um, there's all of these different metrics that you can, that you can um, uh, optimize for. And also, we can try a lot of different algorithms. So you can tell the experiment not to run any of these because maybe you don't want to or you know that some will perform better than others or if you've already tested a few of those yourself. So this is really nice. 
So basically here you can choose how many algorithms you want. So you can generate more pipelines. You can, for now, just for the sake of time, we'll click on two. And you can ch uh, change the training data split. So you could have, uh, you can have more, you can have 85%, you could have 90%, you can have 95% training data um, and test data. So uh, for now, I'm gonna leave all the defaults as is and just click on save settings and then run experiment. Um, so what's really nice is that you don't really have to do anything. You don't have to have any sort of data science or machine learning background. You can just let the experiment run and we're seeing it run here and we see the progress map here. So within uh, five to 10 minutes, we should be done. But within seconds, we should see our uh, leaderboard or our pipeline generated. And um, you'll see kind of the ranking and we're ranking by root mean squared error. And um, it's a re what's really nice about this tool is you can learn a lot from it if you're not a data scientist. But even if you are a data scientist, you can use this as a way to see how this compares to your algorithms. Maybe you, um, you can create a better model using auto AI, or um, you can see that your model is doing better than the one um, auto-generated from auto AI. So you can see within 46 seconds, we've actually created a pipeline. Um, we can see that it performed eight pipelines and then we rank it by the least amount of error. And we can see that it took 35 seconds to do this um, and the whole time elapsed was five minutes. So it was very quick, um, but note obviously for more data, it's gonna take a little bit more time and depending on what kind of a runtime you have and how powerful the CPU, CPUs are. Now we can go ahead and save as a model again. Um, so we'll just save this, uh, we'll just say Um, and then the next thing we need to do is actually deploy it. So if we want to test it or link it to some sort of Python um, web application, we need to deploy it. So what you learned from this video today is you've learned how to create all these IBM cloud services. So you've created an IBM cloud account, you've created a Watson studio account, and you've uploaded your data set. So you've taken that, you've downloaded that data set from Kaggle and you've uploaded that data set within Watson Studio. And we used IBM Cloud Object Storage to actually store the data set in the cloud. Um, and then next, we created an auto AI experiment, and that uses machine learning under the hood to run all of these different algorithms and create pipelines. And based on what metric we chose, so we cho chose root mean squared error, we're going to rank these pipelines and see which one performed the best. And we can configure the experiment as you want, so we can change the training data, we can change which algorithms we want to run, but in five minutes we generated eight different pipelines and then chose the best one to actually deploy in our next video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.